Hey all, and this is the Wanted Dead or Alive event. This is a Dark Commander event and Arcane Killer. So these are the teams I have made up for the event. Just four teams. The team at the end doesn't really do too much damage. It's just something you can try if you want to make an area based team. I did actually get half of the deck from the vault. I got lucky in testing. This didn't do as much damage as my older cards team. So I'm not sure if I will get the other half of this deck yet. It could be quite useful in GVG though, so I probably will. Something to think about anyway. So onto this team. It's a pretty standard team of four damage boosting cards with one hitting card. Long Night Harbingers increases Dark Commander damage by 140%. Creates some power gems plus has a revive. It also has that Cleanse 1 debuff skill as well which is useful for removing flatline. Draconic Pantheon, this is kind of an essential card. A 550% damage buff for one hero. Then Lost Covenant, the hitting card, six pink stars, converts, creates dark gems, increases self damage by 300%. Still one of my best hitting cards, may I add. War Machines, another decent damage increase. You can see here, 225%. Creates the power gems as well. Plus two turn cooldown. Then Seaborn Scalawags. This is the arcane killer card I need for the event. Increases dark commander damage by 80%. Also upgrades as well, making it quite useful considering it's quite an old card. For the relics, I have two arcane relics, then three of my best relics to fill up the five relics. Here's one of the arcane relics, breaks more than enough shields actually for the prismatic. I may also use this on the ultimates though, which is why I have the second arcane relic as well. My dark relics are pretty strong in all fairness. Here's the other arcane relic you can see here anyway. Then my final relic here. There we go. So that's my main team and probably the team I will be using the most. This team here, a slight variant with just the one card that's really been changed. And that's the card here I got lucky to get, Blazing Brewmaster. Increases Dark Commander attack by 1,500%. In testing, this didn't really seem to compare to damage boosts, but I think I need to make a slight adjustment to this team. As one of the cards should be swapped for another. There we go, that's the change I needed to make with this team. In the next part of the video, the team testing, though, I did use the previous team, which may explain why the damage was slightly lower. I still think this team is probably the better option, though. But this team is probably about the same, if I'm being honest, if that ultra-rare card was the event ultimate form. So it's difficult to really say if an event team or non-event team is better for this event. Anyway, let's go across to the Ultimates team. This is just about breaking the shields. This will be used on the later level Ultimates. This breaks the four shields, then another four, so eight. Another three, so that's 11. Then 13, 18. 22, 27 shields in total, more than enough, I think, to get to where I probably will be able to get to with the ultimates, if that makes sense. I normally struggle more with the amount of damage the ultimates deal over the shields they have. The team does have a revive, but flatline may make that tricky. And this is an idea to try if you are struggling with other ideas. You can try boosting up an Immortal Killer card with High Performance Unit Eria. So here is Eria. It gives a 2,500% increase to Immortal Killer attack. That's higher than the Event Ultimate form, but it's only Immortal Killer rather than all Dark Commander cards. And then that's used to boost up the Fraggers in this instance. This is a good card as it does have that cleanse as well. And removing debuffs, you can see here in the battle skill, 
also an unstoppable card. And then the other three cards you've seen before. This is a 550% damage buff that goes on Defraggers. Then Seaboard Scalib works the Arcane Killer card. And War Machines again with the decent damage boost. It won't do as much damage as the previous teams, but it is something to try if you are struggling for ideas. So there we go, that's the teams I will be using for the event. Let's get on with the action event. Here we go. Alright, so here's the action event. The prismatic map is quite difficult this time around. There doesn't seem to be too many teams that can get through it quickly. So one thing you could try is playing the iron map and just trying to get ultimates up. I think they spawn from around level 20 of the iron map. And that could be a better strategy than playing prismatic if it's taking you a long time to get through that. It also depends on what guild you are in. But that's something to consider anyway. If you don't want to do prismatic, I'm not going to actually play this. I am going to start testing out my two main dark teams. I think we can try a prismatic guild boss. Now these have pretty easy to deal with skills this time around. You can see here flatline and drain. So ultimate skill bosses and multi bosses may well be the best option for this event. I will try with my main dark commander team first, then try with the team that has the event card. So here we go. All right, so here we go. I did have a go at this boss, but the game then crashed, unfortunately. So this will be my main attack at it. So I think on the very first turn, sometimes you get enough dark gems. Sometimes you don't. Unfortunately, this time I didn't. With the event card, you get enough dark gems every single time since it has a passive. So that may be one reason to get event deck I don't think the damage between having the event card and not having it is too much different but let's give this a go anyway and see what happens left to right I think is ideal and that's a pretty decent grid actually there's two loose power gems so let's see how much damage this does you may have also seen but using the battle skills got rid of that flat line and drain doesn't really do anything that was a really good hit that gives an idea of the damage anyway of this team all right so let's have a go with my team that has an event card and the attack boost i'm not sure how well this will work i do know that this has a nice passive that gets all the dark gems at the start though which should help but it is only an attack boost rather than a damage boost. I will hopefully get a decent hit on the boss though, so I can give it a fair comparison to the other team. All right, so here we go. This could be good on the ultimates as you always get the dark gems at the start because of that passive, you can see here. So the event ultimate form could be useful for that reason. I don't think attack really compares to damage though even though it is quite a high attack bonus this is about the same sort of grid as what i had before as well so this should be a fair comparison so i need to do around 300 q let's see what sort of damage i do so it's slightly under and that pretty much confirms that Damage is going to be better than attack in this situation, I think. So to be honest, they may have sold a dud ultimate form here, so to speak. Damage seems slightly better, not significantly better than having the attack boost. But the passives on the ultimate form could make it useful in situations like Crusade. So it's difficult to say since I only have the ultra rare, but... Hopefully that helps a bit if you are considering getting the ultimate form. All right, so that's the team testing done. It is a special cudgel week event again. So let's go over to the bosses page. All right, let's take down one of these bosses. Should be pretty easy with my Dark Commander team. 
Let's give this a go with Battle Boost just because the previous variant of this that I used wasn't quite as good. So this should be a better comparison to my other team as long as I get a decent grid just to see what that attack boost does compared to a damage boost. I still think damage is better but you can all decide that for yourselves depending on what cards you have. Let's see if I can get a really good grid here. Probably won't happen but you never know. That's not bad actually. A couple of loose at the bottom. Let's see the damage. I don't think the three in the corner were power gems though. Let's see what this hits for. So yes, yeah, still under 300 Q even with that grid. That's the boss well and truly defeated anyway. There we go, that's the ancient coin. I can go over to the cudgel shop. There's some interesting items here. You can see lots of hammers. There's also, yeah, the malls down the bottom. Ascended ingot as usual. This is slightly different to what we normally get. I'm not really sure how to get the second item. I would have thought it's a reward from the leaderboards. But this looks quite a bit better than what you normally get. I'll just bring up my guild here. Let's scroll near the top. I would have thought, yeah, you get some interesting items some core items not sure how to get that other item though for the shop so that would be something i work out later on i would have thought there we go that's the cudgel week event anyway let's move on to the collection now this is an amazing collection it's about time we had something decent gvg dark relic collection let's go ahead and claim all of this Get lots of runes. Here we go. Are they all different runes though? Well, doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad at all. I think I may have got one of each rune from that. Let's go over to the forge page and find out. Here we go. Let's scroll down. Legend Relic, Lance of the Endless. There we go. So that's looking pretty good. Apart from the Dark Rage Legend Rune. I've only got one of those, unfortunately. So I can only really do that. I might get more of those from the Guild Supremacy stuff, though. So, oh, this is looking promising. This is looking very promising. Now that's a good result. That's a very good result. One pink star, Lance of the Endless. Brilliant. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So I'm pretty happy with that. You got to see me make that lovely Lance. Let's go back over to here anyway. Go and claim that random six star hero. Right, so scroll down here. Collect the support hero and make it six stars right there we go done like that and get this essence random six star bonus hero let's grab this and see what i get okay i think that's the main hero from the current deck it's tempting me to make it with coins let's have a look at this I may have to make this deck just because I can get the shiny as well. It doesn't look like an amazing deck, but shiny plus the ultimate form. And I only need three more coins to make it, making it a very cheap deck. Frontier Mavericks increases Dark Commander attack by 1,500%, dispels two enemy buffs and heals as well. At the start of each turn creates 10 Dark Power Gem IX and every other turn as well. So I think the best use for this event ultimate form is probably in GVG if I'm being honest. This looks like a GVG card rather than an event card. It's definitely an interesting deck though. I will need to do more testing with it once I actually get it. 
If you are just going to get one of the cards, you of course want to get the card with the attack boost. That's the ultra rare blazing brew master. You've seen me use this already. Increases dark commander attack by 1,500% for two turns. The other card will just create the power gems, I would have thought. Bolt Hazard, Infernal Hand. Oh, it does have the cleanse as well. And the Royal Flush skill, which creates the power gems, but not much else, so not so useful on its own. And there we go, I'm going to end the video at this point. I hope that was interesting and helpful. As always, if you do have any questions or suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help. If you did enjoy this video, giving it a like and subscribing is always appreciated. Thank you to those that have already subscribed. We have a previous video on the screen. Check that out if you want to do so. Plus a playlist of all my videos for Legendary Game of Heroes in. Plus you can also subscribe from here if you want to do so. And thanks for watching.